In the tapestry of royal engagements and philanthropic endeavors, the partnership of Matin and Anisha has been a beacon of unity and compassion, gracing various events together and embodying the spirit of service. However, a recent shift saw Anisha stepping into the spotlight in a manner unlike before, marking her first public appearance alone. As we delve deeper into the story of Anisha's appearance in the community kitchen, let us remind our audiences to stay connected with the journey of this inspiring couple. Join us as we explore the moments that define the essence of true service and the bonds that tie us all together. Traditionally, Matin has been known to wield his polo mallet for charity, riding with grace and purpose to support numerous causes. This time, mirroring her husband's commitment to charity, Anisha chose the warmth of the kitchen over the polo field, dedicating her time to cook for those in need. This singular act of service marked a significant moment, not only for Anisha, but for the community she chose to serve. Her presence in the community kitchen, cooking and sharing moments of joy and camaraderie with the people, showcased a profound connection with those around her. The intimate moments she shared, especially the heartwarming interaction caught on video that melted hearts across the internet, highlighted a personal touch often unseen in public figures of such stature. The support of Anisha, being the whirlwind of royal duties and grand events that filled her calendar, ranging from a dignified dinner with the Brunei Air Force to the momentous meeting with the President of Singapore, from the vibrant celebration of Brunei's 40th National Day to the exhilarating all Ace San Polo Cup 2024, and the unforgettable wedding of Matin's best friend in Thailand. Anisha had been a constant presence by her husband's side. Each occasion was a testament to their joint commitment to their roles and responsibilities. Amid this flurry of engagements, Anisha's solo appearance at the community kitchen marked a significant moment. Her first alone engagement since the much-celebrated century wedding that had captured the hearts and imaginations of people. Anisha's presence in the kitchen was both extraordinary and grounded. Known for her passion for cooking, which she often shared through her Instagram, her decision to cook alongside volunteers at the community kitchen was a gesture that resonated deeply. It was a testament to her down-to-earth nature and a reflection of her personal commitment to serving those in need. Dressed in a buffant cap, mask, and cooking apron just like any other volunteer, she focused diligently on preparing meals for the vulnerable. A royal in service, yet indistinguishable from the community she served. The moment that captured the hearts of the internet, however, was when Anisha took a brief pause from her culinary duties to play with a child in the kitchen. The highlight was when she initiated a video call with her husband, Prince Matin, allowing the young child a moment of wonder as he conversed with the prince. This spontaneous act of kindness, bridging the gap between the royal and the everyday, between duty and compassion, resonated across social media platforms, becoming a symbol of the genuine warmth and care that Anisha and Matin, despite their royal status, extended towards their community. Anisha's solo engagement at the community kitchen was not just a royal appearance. It was a powerful statement of solidarity, empathy, and hands-on philanthropy. Her actions that day spoke volumes, breaking down the barriers often perceived between royalty and the public, and highlighting her genuine commitment to making a difference in the lives of the less fortunate. Is poverty possible in Brunei? Brunei is an Islamic country with an area of over 5,700 km square located on the northern edge of Borneo Island. The history of this coastal kingdom spans centuries, with its peak in the 15th century when it controlled vast territories in Borneo. The kingdom of Brunei's power declined as European powers expanded their colonies in Asia, and by 1888, the country was under British protection. The majority of the population owns one to two cars, making taxis and buses very rare. The average cost of a car is only about $8,000 because buyers do not have to pay taxes. Fuel prices in Brunei are among the top three cheapest in the world, at only 0.45 Brunei dollars, cheaper than a bottle of mineral water priced at one Brunei dollar. Brunei's GDP per capita is among the highest in the world. The government and government-related organizations are the main providers of employment, 
more than 450,000 Bruneian citizens enjoy a relatively high standard of living due to the absence of taxes and receipt of generous social benefits. The people of Brunei receive medical treatment at hospitals and health centers for a nominal fee of one Brunei dollar, and children under 12 years old are completely exempt from charges. Everyone has access to hospital care from common to severe diseases, including cancer. Patients will be sent to Malaysia or Singapore for treatment if necessary, with all expenses for the patient and accompanying caregivers covered by the government. Every child has the opportunity to study and pursue higher education abroad. The government fully sponsors tuition fees from primary to tertiary education and beyond. Parents only have to pay a small fee for pens and notebooks. Discussing poverty in Brunei often elicits disbelief. Is poverty really possible in Brunei? Despite the royal government's extensive welfare measures, there are still individuals and families living in conditions overlooked by many. These include people without access to electricity, those who struggle to find enough food, and children forced to work to support their families. Media reports occasionally spotlight the economically disadvantaged, such as children peddling snacks in Bandar's eateries. While it's easy to fault parents for exposing their children to such work, the underlying reasons, like severe illness preventing parents from working, thereby necessitating their children's contribution, often remain unnoticed. Then there are the abandoned families and single mothers burdened with the challenge of feeding several children on their own. These stories beg the question, who are these individuals living on the margins? The mission of Community Kitchen. In the heart of Brunei Jerusalem, amidst its lush rain forests and modern cityscapes, there lies an organization deeply committed to weaving a fabric of support and hope for those caught in the snares of poverty. Established in May 2011, the Society for Community Outreach and Training, COT, emerged as a beacon of light, a registered non-government organization under the Registrar of Society with a singular mission to be a catalyst for sustainable poverty alleviation in the Sultanate. Yeah, through the provision of resources, basic skills training and unwavering support, as Kyoto he embarked on a journey to help individuals escape the vicious cycle of poverty through its ongoing and sustainable projects. As the calendar turned to 2024, ECOT unveiled its ambitious initiative, the Social Kitchen Community. This project epitomizes the organization's commitment to tangible action, offering nourishment and care to migrant workers and socio-economically challenged families across Brunei. With a target of serving 6,500 slots, the initiative represents a monumental step towards communal well-being and support. The success and reach of SKOT's initiatives have been significantly bolstered by the generosity of its sponsors. Among them, Standard Chartered Bank Brunei and Jerudong Park Medical Center stand out, alongside the heartfelt contributions of private donors and the hands-on involvement of volunteers. A notable mention must be made of Jabjim under the auspices of its founder, Prince Matten, and his wife, Anisha. Their involvement goes beyond mere patronage. They are a living testament to the royal family's deep-rooted commitment to the welfare of their people. Prince Matin and Anisha, through their active participation in ESCOT's projects, exemplify leadership that is compassionate, hands-on, and deeply invested in the social fabric of their nation. Anisha, with her grace and dedication, alongside Prince Matin with his spirited commitment, have become emblematic of the potential for change when those in positions of influence use their status for the greater good. To stay connected with more heartwarming stories and to explore the multifaceted journey of life, from anticipating new family members to celebrating life's significant milestones, we invite you to subscribe to the Billionaire Dynasty channel. Join our community to witness the moments that knit the tapestry of life, shared with warmth, love, and a touch of luxury that surrounds those most cherished events.